us just to take a second. Sometimes we just sing and then the lyrics kind of just pass by and we don't really grasp what we're spe singing about and speaking about. But in this bridge it says, you, you, uh, you sent the darkness running out of an empty grave. Now seated alone in glory, enthroned on our highest praise. So the Bible says that Jesus, God is literally enthroned on the praises of his people. He sits and he dwells in the middle of the praises of his people. That's why he created us, to be in community with him, to be in relationship with him. So that means if we're enthroning God above everything, who reigns above it all, that means our praise and our worship, us glorifying him, magnifying him, lifting him up, is what he is seated on. Literally, that's the throne that God is seated on. Does God have a throne coming from your mouth? Are you singing praises and lifting up praises that he has something to actually sit on? We elevate so many things in our lives. We elevate our issues. We elevate 2020 being crazy and messed up. We elevate sickness. We elevate darkness. We elevate a broken relationship. But how many times have we said, I'm not gonna elevate that. I'm gonna elevate my God. And I'm just begin again to begin to lift him up. And then our worship literally raises him above everything. And he sits enthroned, alone in glory, enthroned on the highest praise, our highest praise. So I want you to, I wanna sing that one more time, the bridge, but I want you to envision it differently. These aren't just lyrics, this is actual scripture that we can stand on. Our God is enthroned on the praises of his people. Come on, let's lift it up. And you sent the darkness running out of an empty grave. That's victory. Now seated alone in glory, enthroned on the highest praise. And you sent the darkness running out of an empty grave. Now seated alone in glory, enthroned on the highest praise. Oh, you sent the darkness running. Jesus. I lift up your name, Jesus. 